Hello calculus students and general seekers of truth. In this video, we will look at how to determine uh, inflection points and intervals of concavity. So remember that concavity is determined by the second derivative. So let's start by taking the first derivative. So f prime of x is equal to 6x minus 3x squared. The second derivative then, f double prime of x would be equal to 6 minus 6x. And intervals of concavity, so this means that if f double prime is positive, then f is concave up. And if f double prime is negative, then that means that f is concave down. So to really figure this out, we set f double prime equal to 0, and we solve for x. So 0 is equal to 6 times 1 minus x. That means uh, x could be equal to 1. So that's the only place where the second derivative of x is equal to 0. So making the sign chart for this, and we have to be clear, this is the sign chart of f double prime. So if we pick a number smaller than 1, say 0, then we have a positive number here. And if we pick a number bigger than 1, say 50, 6 minus 6 times 50, that would be a negative answer. Okay? So from this, we can determine that um, f has an inflection point when x is equal to 1 because that's where the second derivative is equal to 0 and to find that exact point we plug 1 in for x and we get uh, 3 minus 1 so that's 2 so the inflection point occurs the inflection point um, occurs at 1, 2. Let me correct my ridiculous handwriting here. Okay. And uh, I'll draw the graph of this in just a minute so that you can see. And we also know that uh, over here to the left of 1, f is concave up, and to the right of 1, f would be concave down. So with the help of modern technology, I've been able to graph this relatively quickly. And you can see this is the graph of f of x. It is concave up from negative infinity to 1. Right, and this is our point of inflection. This is at 1, 2. And it's concave down the entire way. So it's concave up from negative infinity to 1 and it's concave down from 1 to positive infinity. Okay. Uh, I do want to point out that 1 is on both intervals. It's at, at 1 you can say that it's both concave up and concave down. The reason for that is because again that 1, 2 uh, is the inflection point. It's where it's that instantaneous moment where a graph changes from concave up to concave down. Okay, so there we have it, a, a fairly simple example in how to determine if a graph is concave up or down and also to find its inflection point. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.